using CAN to display RPM. We have a large database of vehicles where we have reverse engineered the codes that are used by the manufacturers and obtained a number of useful parameters. This database is free to all Video VBOX customers and can be downloaded from our website. The Video VBOX Lite comes as standard with one CAN channel enabled and you can purchase options for more channels. There are two ways to connect to the CAN bus on your vehicle. On some cars you can plug directly into the onboard diagnostic connector or OBD2 plug which is nice and easy but on other cars you will need to hook into the CAN bus manually using wires. If your car does not have CAN on the OBD2 plug then you can obtain the location of the CAN wires when you download the reference file for your vehicle. An easy way to hook into the relevant wires is to use Pomona test clips which allow quick attachment and removal of these connections. These are available in a number of online stores. Once you have connected your vehicle's CAN bus to the video VBOX, you will need to set up the CAN. We will start with a preloaded scene which has a rev counter and assign the CAN parameters from a Porsche GT3. To do this, use the Scene Properties tab and expand the CAN and Module Configuration section. On Inputs, click on Load and then Load Database File. To download a suitable CAN reference file for your car, Go to the Video VBOX website www.videovbox.co.uk and then go to the Downloads and Updates page under the Support menu. Now select Vehicle CAN Database and then under CAN Database Download select your vehicle type and then Model. At this point you may be prompted to enter your username and password. These are obtained when you register your Video VBOX by visiting the Registration page under the Support menu. Save this file by right-clicking and choose Save As. You will notice that underneath this section you can see information about your particular vehicle. It will tell you here if the CAN is available on your OBD2 plug or, if not, it should tell you which wires you can hook into to get this data. Back in the Video VBOX software, select the .ref database file you have just downloaded and then select the parameter you wish to use. In this case, we're using the RPM value. You can then assign this to one of the CAN input channels. To associate this with an element in the scene, select the element, then expand the background section, and select CAN and modules from the drop-down box. Then select the parameter you had just configured in the CAN section. Don't forget to set the range of the rev counter to match the element in the scene. The element will now be configured to use this CAN channel.